Yeah, Steve, Lauren, while that historic solar eclipse may already be history, it had this entire campus, really our entire region, the entire country captivated today as we've seen. And here's what it looked like outside Moorhead Planetarium earlier today. Hundreds of students, faculty, and other folks from around the triangle were out here to see the last solar eclipse that we'll have for two decades. So we were here in 2017. Okay. Nice. Okay. But we had to make it back. We had to skip school. We signed out early. I'm a teacher. Okay. Grab them, and here we are. Just the excitement of everybody coming out to the planetarium. Um, you know, you can sit at your house and watch it, or we could come out to the planetarium and be around everybody else who's you know, excited to see this new event in the sky. <laughs> that eclipse, which peaked at roughly 80% totality at 3.15 p.m., started right around 2 o'clock and ended about 30 minutes ago. There were dozens of planetarium staff members here for educational purposes, too, helping kids take a peek through specially set up telescopes that included solar lenses. And it's not every day that history really passes through your backyard. Uh, really cool just experience whenever one of these happens, obviously. And there was some real excitement here. All in all, just a really fun day at the planetarium. And got some sweet shades out of it, too. Can't see anything, but I think that's kind of the point. So back to you guys. <laughs> yeah, you can put them in your pocket for uh, another 20 years until the next I one, Sean. Know, or at least have a souvenir. <laughs> there we go. That's right. <laughs> Sean Coffey, thank you.